Hi, I'm Daniel Sama, kinesiologist here at TrekFit. I'm here today to explain to you the difference between static equipment and exercise machines. Static equipment, like this bench, allow me to execute movements that are similar to the movements that I'll do in my everyday life. For example, if I use this bench <clears throat> to sit down and to stand. Now this is an exercise that I'll be doing many times throughout my day. It's also a squat. It engages my quads, my glutes, and my lower back. I'm also working my posture. Exercise machines confine you to execute isolated movements. So these movements are going to engage little muscles. Functional exercises will engage various muscles simultaneously, all while engaging the stabilizer muscles, which are very important throughout your day. The second advantage to using static equipment is that it allows for progression. So for example, if I'm using the high bar here to do a push-up, another functional exercise, you can see I'm working my chest and my triceps as well as my core. Now if I want to make this just a little bit more challenging, all I have to do is come to the lower bar, which will give me a little bit more pressure. So same exercise, same movements, more challenge. If my fitness level allows me to, I can go on the low bar and then really put a lot of weight on my chest and triceps, get a bit more work done. So what's important to take from this is that I have the same exercise, three different levels of difficulty. Exercise machines do not offer adjustable resistance. Once you get used to the exercise, the machine becomes obsolete. The third advantage is the versatility that each piece of equipment offers. So I can use this bar to do my push-up where I'm working my chest and my triceps, but I can also get under the bar, switch my grip over, and get an inverted row done. So on this exercise, I'm working my back and my biceps. So with one simple piece of equipment, I got four muscle groups working. The fifth advantage of using static equipment is that you can have a lot of people training at one station at the same time. So for example, I could have one person set up here doing one arm rows, so I can include a little bit of rotation there and get more range of motion. On my next bar, I can have someone executing some pistol squats. So now the depth of my exercise is going to depend on the level of fitness of my participant. And on my last bar, I can have someone doing something a little bit more cardiovascular, like a side hop just like this. With exercise machines, you don't have that option. It's one person at a time for one exercise. Finally, our equipment is resistant and durable. There are no mechanisms or moving parts that can break off or cause accidents. So to recap, static equipment promotes functional training. It allows for progression and development. It's also versatile. You can do a lot of different exercises on one piece of equipment. It's adaptable because it can be used by seniors or athletes and can be used by people of all shapes and sizes. And finally, you can have many users using it at one time. So thank you and have a good workout.